Hello guys, I'm wiring the studio back up, trying to get her done. And uh, it's going to demonstrate how to use the ADAT BRC. And then down below we got our two ADATs hooked up in sync in the back. This stuff here is a little noisy. <laughs> yeah, got all that hooked up, got the fiber optics, the data cable. It all goes up to here at the top. But yeah, that's what I got going on here. A whole lot of wires. Fiber optic connections from one to the other. I'm getting it going on here. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you how to power it up. I did put a note on here. Of course, the board's fired up. Got the amp fired up. Um, turn the ADATs on first. And then the BRC. So, we're going to power these babies up. I'm only going to use one ADAT today, which is our recording tape. No markings on it, but that's one we've been recording on here lately. And before I would even put the tape in, I would power on the BRC. So let me reach my hand back here. Hit the switch. And this is what you'll see come up. So say, what do I have on my tape? I'll show you the simple steps. You know, put the old super VHS tape in because we don't roll ghetto style. <laughs> we're at the lead. So we're going to use this function they got on here. It's nice and simple. It's load setup from tape. So you push that. And it's going to say load from tape. Press play. So we're going to press play. Going to rewind for you. See the ADAT do some stuff here. Once the light stops flashing when it hits the data, it will start loading in the data. And it does take a minute. So once you get that, you should see the thing come on your B BRC that says loading data from the first tape. We're loading her up here. Green light went out again. It works when it wants to. And on your ADAT player, you should have data when it gets playing. So you just gotta wait for that dude to load up. That's sort of what we're doing at the moment. And once it gets loaded, it will show you another message on here. So we'll just wait a moment. Now notice in the meantime, you got this button right here, locate song. So that's going to tell you what you got on your tape. So our load from tape is completed. So we're going to hit locate song. Now we got a song from Jay Sims and you use the up and down buttons. You'll see Riley and nothing. So we can go ahead and locate this song up and down whichever one you want. Hit locate song. I'm going to fast forward your tape to where you want to load the song up and it should stop precisely where it has to. The 
head is going to activate. I'm just going to put it right on point. And we can hit our play button. And make sure you have whatever tracks that you're going to have unmuted. So now we are actually playing the track. Now we are recording vocals with this with just a track to track it into the computer but this is kind of a, the easiest way that we can do it so that's how we roll okay so Stop because I know the song ends uh, right around the nine minute mark and we are wanting to record a new song so say if you want to record a new song and you want to program it on your tape I'll go up to nine right around there oh that was perfect <laughs> So that's the end of the track and it's close to 9.30 so knowing the way I go I'll probably go to 9.45 for the next track so if we want to make a new track to where we can recall we're going to go up to 3 type in our song name which we will use these cursor keys we're going to type in 0 9 I gotta look while I'm doing this. 09. We'll get 4500. Zero, zero. Okay. Now to type in the name, you have to use the name button. Sorry if this ain't the clear, so let's see if I can get a little clear here. Yeah, let's try it. But hit the song name and you go over and we'll type a new song. Cursor over. What's this one? We have a space here. Take this letter out of here. There's our new song. All right, so we're back at our main prompt. We'll take the name off. There's our new song. Now we want to save this to tape. This is save setup to tape. So we're going to push that button. Do we want to save the tape? Press record. So now we're saving. So our ADAT is going to rewind <coughs> all the way to the beginning. I'm going to go back to the data, slow down, it will hit the lead, and it will do it just like our um, procedure we did when we loaded it. Preparing to save the tape. You will get this message. So now, once we hit our data point, you'll see the record light light up, and it will uh, start recording your data. There we go. So it's actually recording what we just typed in. So our next recording session, you can just go to new song. And if you do rename it to specific song name, you have to save it again. So that will probably take it a good 60 seconds. Because remember, we're working with 1993 equipment.
But the BRC does a lot of things, man. We got 1 through 8, 9 through 16. You can go up to 128 tracks. Considering you had that many decks. <laughs> Notice the record light is lit. So we'll wait for it to save. Now since we already have everything loaded into memory, we don't have to load anything, so we can just go back to locate song. We want to locate our new song, let's push it again. And you'll notice the fast forward light will light up. So it's going to proceed to go back to our 9 minutes and 45 seconds. And you'll see the same activity on your decks down below. And then once you get there, you're ready to record. Plug your microphones in. Hook up all your tracks accordingly. And you're good to go, man. It's always good to label what track is what. You know, this is my track. One, two, three, four, five, six, blah, blah, blah. So we're at our point. Let's go forward it to the song. You'll see the stoplight light up. If you're not going to record for like say 15 minutes your head's spinning right now on your tape at the leader point of 945 if you know you ain't going to record for a while just hit the stop button and it will actually extract the tape and stop the head and you'll see it flash so um when you do hit the record button it will take it a second but that's how you do it man some of you guys are kind of virgins about the ADAT I wanted to show you we're done with the tape, so we'll eject it. I mean, we're going to start 9:45 here in a little bit, but for the video anyway. So that's how we do it, man, in the good old Endless Chaos Free Flow Studios. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Take care.